So far, I'm up to 19. I've been increasing um, about one mile a week until I hit around 13, 14, and then I've been doing about a mile and a half, um, two miles. Now, last weekend I did 17, so today I'm at 19. So I just wanted to show you what uh, I'm doing, what I prepare early in the morning. It's 5. I'm going to be leaving the house probably in about 20 minutes, so I just wanted to show you what I do. I get up early. I try not to wake up too early. Um, so this is just a quick little routine I do so that I can get as much sleep as possible. So right now I'm picking out what gels um, I want to pack. I have my little belt that I wear. It's really lightweight. I just strap it on around my waist and I'm going to pack. Um, for today I'm going to be out there a little over three hours. So I want about three gels, um, especially if I'm going to be out there longer than three hours. So I'm either going to take three gels um, or today I'm going to actually take my Goo Chomps, um, which they're these little, they're like little gummy bears and they have, it's like a gel form that you can chew. And I really like these. Um, it kind of gives me something to do. I can eat on the run. It kind of makes me feel a little bit fuller when, when you start to get kind of hungry out there. So I'm going to take one of these and then another gel in my belt. But I have a lot of different um, gels that I get ahead of time. I like to try a bunch of different ones. And these are some of the ones that I've tried that I like. Um, so anyway, so I plan to pick out a couple gels I'm going to take. I have a few more sips of my G2. I drink this the day before, too, to stay really hydrated. And then um, the fluids are actually going to be out on our route today. I run with a running club called Kenyon Way here in Houston. And they put Gatorade and water out along the route. So I'm lucky that I don't have to wear any kind of fluid belt or um, stop to offer, stop at the park or anything for water, they're going to have stations with Gatorade, which is really good. And then I wear my Garmin, so I can track my um, speed and also my route, my distance. It's a really good tool. I have last year's information saved on my computer, and I can go back and compare it. So I'm going to wear that. And then the last thing I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to eat about two bowls of Special K. I like Special K in the mornings before the run because it's a simple carb, meaning um, I, I'm going to take it in, I'm going to eat it, and it's going to give me the energy I need here within the next 30 minutes to really get me out the door. And then the gels are what's going to keep me going throughout the run. And I like this cereal because it doesn't have, um, it has hardly any sugar, it has 4 grams of sugar, which isn't a lot for cereal, and it doesn't have a ton of protein, I mean it does have some, but compared to some of the other brands it has less protein and um, less fiber too, which is good. You don't want a, a really protein and fiber heavy cereal in the morning. So you want something like Special K. And this works good for me. And that's it. Um, I'll take some footage out when I'm running and show you guys what I do along the way. But this is what I do in the morning um, before I get ready for my runs. So here we are at Herman Park in Houston. miles to go. Feeling really good. Today's really cool outside, so it's perfect running weather. Only about like 65. It's good. I got my gel still. I'm going. Cause it make me want it. 